not necessarily going to be on Quizlet. But again, you're building your toolkit, your resources. So we're, when you are talking to students with respect to families on a tour or during orientation, you can kind of um, you know jot back your memory and get that knowledge uh, from from the fall and spring semester. So today we're going to have um, the prospective student center, the director um, presented to us. So that is on the second page. So who wants to read that out? For me? A little bit louder. Sorry. Uh, so uh, this is really the office that we talked about last week that you want to direct any specific questions regarding admissions, numbers, statistics. They're kind of like your go-to if there is something you know, very specific that they want to know about San Diego State, they're going to direct them back to them. Uh, this is also going to be the place where they check in for their tour. So if it's a family tour, um, they should have rsvp Most of them do, sometimes they don't, but we want to get that um, information. Um, for statistical reasons, you know, we want to know who's coming uh, to San Diego State for a prospective tour. Good, okay. I won't go into much too detail about that. Um, the other office that I want to cover is uh, this, well, the area is the student union. So let's turn page. Fourteen. Fourteen. Thank you. So this is a pretty long section. Um, obviously, there's a lot that goes on in our student union. Um, so, why don't we go through the first paragraph? So, who wants to start with the first paragraph? Yeah, Marissa? The comments that we last texted you made in the in 2014. Union is, first, is the first LEED, Leadership and Energy and Environmental Design, common certified student union in the CNC system. Uses 40% less energy than other life sciences. <coughs> who wants to read our next paragraph? And the back, Daniel. The union serves as the campus living room and has many offerings for students. Students can attend events in the building such as free film preview in the theater, open mic nights, speaker series to name a few, workout at the Aztec Recreation Center Express, bowl at the Aztec Lanes, or grab a coffee, charge their phones, or just hang out in the many comfortable spaces. Okay, great. So again, you're adding to, what are some things that happen uh, in the union, we're talking about some of the uh, services that are offered through there. Uh, and then here is where you start to take a little bit more um, into detail about the, some of the departments and offices that are going to be in the union. Uh, so who wants to read our next section there? Yeah, the union is a one-stop shop for students who want to get connected. On the second floor, you will find the Student Life and Leadership Office, which provides office space and resources for more than 400 student organizations on campus. The Commuter Resource Center <coughs> has a place for commuter students to build community and have a home on campus. The Center for Leadership and Service provides a place for students to develop their leadership skills and get involved in local service projects. The Center for Intercultural Relations is a place where students from all backgrounds and perspectives come together for diversity-related programs and formal or informal dialogues. Yeah, so you start off with the second floor, and one of the reasons why we actually visit uh, the different offices or departments, or we try to as much as we can, um, is for you all to, again, try to build, jog your memory to like, okay, this is on the second floor, and some of you probably know where those offices are already, um, and maybe you haven't visited them, or you'll get more knowledge and more information that you'll be able to, to share with uh, on tour or during orientation. Okay, so on the third floor, who wants to do that section? On the third floor, Associated Students, also known as AS, their student government, they offer many opportunities for students to get involved <coughs> and take on leadership positions, including the position of student body president and close to a thousand student jobs. Mm -hmm. Yep, so then on the third floor, you talk about student um, associate students, um, so that's another way for you to cover that information. Um, obviously, associated students, it's a big part of our campus, um, but you know, we just kind of 
kind of do a brief highlight of what they are. All right, who wants to do our next section? Quality of excellence which we are The Aztec student union was named after Conrad Pettis, who donated $20 million in support of student scholarships. SDSU's largest gift to date. Yep, so they finalize it. <coughs> and usually by the time that you're going through the union, you start and uh, you end somewhere in that part uh, based on the pacing or maybe what questions you get asked. Um, it'll really depend when you end, but you know that's flexible. And as you get more comfortable with the tour script and the student union, then you'll be able to um, kind of infuse some of your experiences, maybe getting involved, or maybe a time that you visited a certain office or department. So um, you'll want to keep that in mind as well. Jordan, do you have a question? Uh, yes. So we have to the first paragraph uh, where it says, like, how would you say, like, would you say L E E D final certified, or do you say leadership and energy? And it's, like, do you say the full title? Yeah, you would say the full title. Some folks may not know what lead is. Um, essentially for you all to know, it's based on um, a lot of different things that they calculate and they oversee uh, essentially sustainability in construction um, and also um, it's construction and something else. So they kind of oversee that process, that certification process. So, yep. Good question. All right. I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to our first presenter. Um, uh, great office that we partner with throughout the year, um, and um, I'll go ahead and have him come up, and let's go ahead and give him a warm welcome. Sorry. Hi, everyone. You meant me, right? Yes. Sorry. Right. I'm Matt. I'm the Director of Student Recruitment and School Relations, and I supervise our Prospective Student Center next door. Um, and basically, we our office is a, um, well, we wear a lot of different hats. So we're part of this big department called Enrollment <coughs> Services. And Enrollment Services, in case you don't know, you're probably a little bit familiar, our huge department, Enrollment Services, does everything from admissions to academic advising, to veteran services, to the Office of the Registrar, to class scheduling, curriculum and articulation. Um, graduation, when you apply to graduate uh, from SDSU, running all of your academic records, make sure you've got all your requirements, all that kind of stuff. My position is such that we really speak on behalf of the admissions office and talk to any student who is even interested in going to college. So we have uh, really three specific initiatives that, that we do in our office. And our office is called Prospective Student Services. And we work next door out of the glass building at the Prospective Student Center. But number one, our first charge is to run that Prospective Student Center as really a welcome center here on campus, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Every day and every week that the campus is open, we're open. We don't have any appointments or reservations that we schedule ahead of time. It's a public office. It's completely open for anybody to come in and walk in, basically, and ask questions. We're not supposed to be the main info session, uh, info place on campus to ask where the test office is or financial aid is. It just so happens that we're very visible, and we're there, and we don't mind answering those questions. So we do a lot of times. Uh, we never know who's coming in that door. It could be someone who is a sophomore in high school with their parents. It could be a student who's done two years of community college work at Grossmont College down the road and is interested in transferring in. It could be a student who is wanting to pursue graduate study in social work here at SDSU. We are knowledgeable about all those, all three different kinds of categories. So uh, my staff and I and all of our student staff, we work up in that office and are prepared to answer any and all questions that come our way with admissions. And we know a heck of a lot about different areas of the university, too, to direct people the right way. Now, campus tours happen really as a starting place through our center. Uh, we create the campus tours using some of the software that we have so that it's visible to the outside world and to the public so that you can log on to just go to sdsu.edu slash campus tours and you can see when the tours take place, what times they are, the different uh, schedule that we have, holidays that they're not offered, and the different types of programs that we have. We manage this through our, our website really on the back end to be able to set capacity, to set uh, specific times and all that good stuff because we need to collaborate with different offices. So 
myself and our staff in enrollment services collaborate with all of you in student affairs and new student parent programs. And we also likewise collaborate with the Office of Housing Administration and Residential Education. Because our students and our visitors who come to school, they don't really care what office you work in. They don't care if you're in the admissions office or you're an ambassador. They just know that they're dealing with San Diego State. And so we have this comprehensive campus tour program that's collaborative across the board from all of us at the university to make sure that any visitor who comes onto campus is treated professionally, respectfully, warmly, and that any potential student who you have on your tours can maybe see themselves here just as you remember back when you were touring SDSU or came here your very first time, what was it that really sealed that deal for you? We're, we're in the business really of making sure that all of our visitors and all of our guests are completely serviced. Um, so our first responsibility for my staff and I is managing a public front, to be that public face for any of the visitors who come in. We have, um, and again, we never know who, who comes in. I, a couple years ago, uh, one of our staff and I were working up front, and this elderly gentleman came in, and he was kind of hobbling a little bit, and he was looking at Montezuma, our, our old statue. Um, and we asked, that, we asked the gentleman if we could help him. He said no, very politely. He was just looking at the sculpture and smiled at us and then turned around and left. And then our associate vice president came in and said that was the ex-CSU chancellor. So thank you for smiling and greeting him because he commented that the service at SDSU is great. People are very friendly. Uh, we could have very well just been you know, typing away and grunted at him or whatever. He's some old guy. Probably not a prospective student, but we did. We treated him with the same amount of respect and professionalism as anybody else uh, because we are that public face. So that's number one. Number two, we speak on behalf of the Office of Admission. So any questions that you have from prospective students, they come to us. You defer those type of questions to us. It's very tricky, very intricate. We have different admission categories and different groups. Um, different areas, too, that we, we admit students uh, potentially with some different um, SAT or ACT or GPA numbers, all these big things that <coughs> go into the admissions world. It can be very tricky. So when you are asked those questions, we're the ones, we're the ones, we're the staff that answer those for you. When uh, it comes time to that too, you'll see us in the Prospective Student Center working with prospective students, but depending on the time of year, in the spring usually, is when we're talking to students who are either newly admitted to the university or, unfortunately, not admitted to the university. We have 83,000 undergraduate students who apply every year. When you add on graduate school, graduate applications, it gets up to about 95,000 students who apply to SDSU any given year. And we have about a third of an acceptance rate. So we're looking at 60,000 people who don't get into San Diego State every year. And who do they contact when they want to complain about it? or get more information or figure out why, they call our office. So sometimes you'll see us having really serious conversations. There might be people crying in the office or what have you. On the flip side, there are students who are accepted to the university and usually super happy. Um, your responsibilities in the context of, of the admissions world is twofold. Really, you're taking out all of our prospective students who are interested in San Diego State, right? But in the spring, you're also taking those students who are newly admitted to San Diego State out on their tour <coughs> to see campus for themselves. If they're not from California, if they're from Rhode Island, this might be in the spring, they may have applied to us blindly, and now they're here to check out school and see if it's the right fit for them. And you are the ambassadors, truly, in that sense of the word, where it's your impression that you're going to give those students who are going to make it or break it, basically, for them. They're going to remember their experience, really, through you. Um, I am a bit older, so I went to college back in the 90s, and I toured different schools in 1994. And I still remember the day when I did two different school visits. One of them, they had to rope in some random guy to give a tour. He wasn't on any schedule, and we don't think he was really an official tour guide, but he was made fun of the whole time by all of his friends as we were walking through their campus, saying, ha, oh, Johnny, you're giving a tour, ha, ha, look at you, and he was horrible. And I left campus immediately right after the tour.